Dr. Nardi here back with another video and in this video we're going to be doing a one-way analysis of variants. So the first thing we need to do is go right up here to the top, go to ANOVA. We're going to be doing a one-way ANOVA so go ahead and click on that and you will see this new uh, box pops up. And a couple things we want to do here is we want to take language, that's our dependent variable, that's the variable we're measuring, move it over. And then our grouping variable, we move group into grouping variable. One thing I want to point out to you guys is by default, uh, don't assume equal variances. Um, for this, we're going to assume equal variances. Don't worry about it for this class. Um, I will go into more detail if you go into another stats class or if you want to email me, we can go into more detail about this. But um, we're going to assume equal variances between the groups. So the variance between the group is roughly equal. Um, and we want a descriptive uh, table as well. So it gives us some more information. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. We have our group descriptives here. So we have 10 uh, participants in each group. We have means for each group right here. So we have 76.6 for five hours, 85.2 for 10 hours, and 91.6 for 20 hours. We have our standard deviations, right? But I wanna direct your attention to right up here. Here's our p-value. And we wanna look at this and say, is this less than 0 0.05? And actually it's 0 0.001, so it is, right? So we could take a look and say, wow, there is a difference in language scores between these three groups. Now, we don't know where that difference is lie, and that'll be a, for another chapter when we talk about post hoc analysis, and that allows us to see where the differences lie. But with that said, if you have any questions, send me an email. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.